when it comes to get going as per the third step of our five step series, I remember many years ago listening to Les Brown, one of the greatest transformational speakers of our time. And Les Brown say, which ghost will be surrounding your deathbed? He said, imagine at your deathbed, you are surrounded by the ghost of the ideas, the talents, the abilities, and the visions that God gave unto you, that life gave unto you. And the ghost of these ideas and the visions and the talent and the abilities staring at you at your deathbed and saying, we were sent to you and only you could have given us life. But you did nothing about that. Which ghost will be surrounding your deathbed? The great insight, the great ideas, the great concept you had, the great passions, the great dreams you had that you never went ahead to make them a reality. As I said, failures are of two kinds. Those who thought and never did, and those who did and never thought. The one thing that separates men in life is simply execution, not even intelligence, execution. Now, the saddest words in the world are as follow. It should have been. It could have. I just wish I did. Those are some of the saddest words in this world. Now, to close this third step, I came across an essay that I found very fascinating when it comes to just execution. And the essay was written by a guy called Strangest Loop. And the essay is titled, Do Your Think. And most of us, we got things in terms of abilities, in terms of dreams, in terms of talent, in terms of ideas. But we can't just do the thing. We have written the thing on paper, we have talked about the thing, but the only thing we haven't done, we haven't done the thing. And this is an essay that expounds on this concept. And Strangest Loop say, Preparing to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Scheduling time to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Making a to-do list for the thing isn't doing the thing. And it goes ahead to say, telling people you are going to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Messaging friends who may or may not be doing the thing isn't doing the thing. Writing a banger tweet about how you are going to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Hating on yourself for not doing the thing isn't doing the thing. It goes ahead to say, Hating on others, on other people who have done the thing, isn't doing the thing. Hating on the obstacle in the way of doing the thing, isn't doing the thing. Fantasizing about all of the adoration you'll get for doing the thing, isn't doing the thing. Oh my goodness. He said, reading about how to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Reading about how other people did the thing isn't doing the thing. He goes ahead to say, reading this essay isn't doing the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the only thing that is doing the thing is doing the thing. Wow, this is life changing. Reading this essay isn't doing the thing. And the only thing that is doing the thing is doing the thing. And my challenge to you tonight is 
Step number three is simply doing the thing. Have you done the thing? Ask your spouse. Ask your students. Ask your workers. Ask your partner. Have you done the thing? And if you haven't done the thing, just remember, at your deathbed, you'll be surrounded by the ghost of the thing, the ghost of talents, the ghost of ideas, the ghost of dreams, staring at you and say, we all came unto you. But unfortunately, you are taking all of us to the graveyard. No wonder the late Dr. Miles Monroe say, the richest place in the world is not in Saudi Arabia with oil or Johannesburg with gold or Namibia with diamond. But he say, the richest place in the world is in the graveyard because the ghost of ideas, the ghost of wealth, the ghost of talent, the ghost of fame, and the ghost of fortune, they all end up being buried with a person who never did the thing. So step number three is simply get going. Step number four. Step number four is get excited. That simply means get passionate. Only pursue the things that you are so passionate about. One secret of becoming outstanding in life is never major in minus. Last week I talked about the three categories of skills. I talked about the predominant skills and I talked about the secondary skills and I talked about passions and interests and also hobbies. What I mean here is get excited. Pursue dreams and pursue goals that brings adrenaline in your body. As I always like saying, if your dreams not keeping you awake at night, you are dreaming too small. If your dream can be easily financed by your salary or just by a male alone, then it's a simple dream. You need dreams that take the supernatural intervention of God for them to become a reality. I say, get excited. You see, the world can remain neutral on the face of a passionate and excited person. It is the late Brenda Fasti, the South African musician, who once said, he said, passion is something very hard to describe, but you know passion the moment you see it. I say, moving from average to amazing calls for some level and amount of passion. How passionate are you about the possibilities of the future? How passionate are you about the person you could become if you did the thing? And I'll tell you tonight that I see you in the future. You look much better than you look right now. Do you know what? I tell people, as birds were created to fly, and fish to swim, and flowers to grow, dreams are also built with internal, inner ability to become a reality. So get excited about your future. Get excited about the thing. Get excited about the plans. Wake up every morning as if it was a new day. Wake up every morning as if it was the last day you have on earth. And go ahead and do the thing. Get excited. Demonstrate passion. Live life with gusto. The audacity of hope. The arrogance of belief, their fate, be a daredevil, captains of moonshots, outliers and mavericks, they all show passion in whatever they do. So that is step number four. But ladies and gentlemen, step number five is simply get away. Get away. By getting away means take time to rethink. Take time to reinvent. Take time to reimagine. Take time to recreate. Some of us have been serious. Some of us have been smart. Some of us have done the thing. Some of us have demonstrated passion for so long. We've gone full circle. Maybe it could be the time 
to change the brand that everybody has known about you and recreate a new person. So your ability to reinvent yourself, your ability to recreate yourself keeps you at the top of your game. Because as I tell people, sometimes whatever got you here may not get you there. So step number five is get away. Have this personal time of reflection. It's called mindfulness. It's called self-care. I recommend the 5 a.m. book by Robin Sharma, who talks about this 60, uh, the, 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 the 60 minute rule. The first one hour of every day is the most important. He said the 20-20-20 rule simply means take 20 minutes in the morning to exercise, get some vitality, get some energy, get some adrenaline pumping in your body. That enhances your passion and your excitement over the things you do. You can't pursue great goals with a sick body. You can't pursue great dreams with a weak body. You need to build your body. You need to be right mentally, physically, emotionally. Then he said, number two, take time to reflect. Reflect, rethink. You can't do the same things you've been doing over and over. Take time away. I heard John Maxwell say, in his home, he has a seat, and even his children knows that is a thinking seat. When daddy is sitting there, you don't disturb daddy, because daddy is practicing what they call mindfulness, rethinking your crafts, rethinking your game. As I always say, innovation is not new things. Innovation is simply new ways. But how will you do things in a different way if you don't get away? If you are in the treadmill day in, day out, month in, month out, year in, year out, I say get away. Rethink your game. Rethink your craft. Reinvent yourself. Rebrand yourself and add more value to yourself as you come back to the scene. I say on the dance floor, get away sometime. That's why great people take sabbatical. We've heard about great coaches in football. We've heard about great business people. We've even heard about politicians that took sabbatical. When they go back into the game, they were fresh. They were new. And they brought something very unique. So step number five, get away. Get the practice of having mindfulness moment in the morning. Meditation, I mean. Reflection. And reflection and meditation later in the evening. It's the fast of the month is the second of the month. Have you had time to reflect, to rethink, to reimagine, to reinvent, and eventually to rebrand for you to add more value to yourself, to your craft, to your game, to your career, to your life, to your family, to society, to the country, and to the world? The five steps of moving from an average life to an amazing life, from a regular experience of living or working to an outstanding personality in your sector and in your field of endeavor. That was the series we started last week and finishing today. Five steps of moving from just living a regular average life to living an amazing and outstanding life. Step number one, get serious. Step number two, get smart. Step number three, get going. Do the thing. Step number four, get excited, get passionate. They say one man with passion equals 30 men with intentions. Stop living life just with intentions. Live life with a full heart, a heart full of passion. And step number five, get away, rethink, reimagine in order to outthink to outwit and to outsmart competition. Until next time, be inspired. Before you expire, next week we start another amazing series right here on NTV every Tuesday at 10 p.m. God bless you and good night.